اسپیشلی grammar of arabic language lesson 1 first lesson so here you will learn about the word haza and few particles like hamza naam and la so this is easy just uh, reading miss noorul jana read this yeah read this ma ma haza what is this haza kitabun this is book a haza baytun is this is a is this a house naham naham haza baytun yes this is a house la haza masjidun no this is a mosque man haza who is this next we will learn some few points about these sentences so here next miss miss sabina read this point assalamu alaikum wa alaikum haza haza is pronounced haza but it is written without the first alif this means arabic. there is an hidden alif here okay we don't write that alif but we pronounce that alif arabic has no word corresponding to the english is that is to say arabic has no copula so there is no word exactly equal to is in arabic next third point there is no word in arabic corresponding to a in english as in this is a book the n sound at the end of the arabic noun kitabun baitun masjidun is the arabic indefinite article corresponding to the english a and an this n sound is called tanween so if article, somebody ask you what is the meaning of tanween what will you say this you will say tanween mean a or an okay this tanween that you see here means a or an a or an okay next bachcho bajo the particle uh, alif hamza the particle alif. hamza uh, placed at the beginning of a statement turns it into a question for example haza baitun this is a house a haza baitun is this is is this a house a haza baitun is this a house so hamza is fine when i want to turn a simple sentence into an interrogative sentence we just put the particle hamza at the beginning then it turns into a question next we have the vocabulary that you all need to memorize vidad read one hello assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam read the first column from boy like walad yes read this column okay okay waladun boy talibun student rajlun man tajirun merchant kalbun dog qitun cat himarun donkey hisanun horse jamalun camel tikun rooster mudarrisun teacher mindilun kerchief miss punam yes sir read this uh baitun house 
Mazidun, a mosque. Babun, a door. Kitabun, a book. Kalamun, a pen. Mufta, Muftaun. Mifta. Mifta, a key. A maktabun, a writing table. Uh, sarir, uh, sarirun, uh, bed, kursi, kursin, uh, chair, uh, najmun, uh, star, kamizun, uh, shirt, tabibun, doctor. There is one more. Sir, which, yes. sir, which book is this? Drusulogatil will be a Medina book. This is also Logatul Arabi? Yes. So. And, and which you were studying was Al Arabia by Nyadai. We will continue to study that, okay? As well. And Can I buy that? Can I buy that book which we are reading now? Yes, you can buy it. Al-Logatul Arabiya. Yeah, there are many. It, you will find it in almost every Islamic bookshop. Okay, okay. this is really first edition. Around the book globe. This, this is first edition. No, this is not the first edition. It has actually one edition but different colors. The other one is in okay. black and white. This one is in color. So only difference is in color, nothing else. At that's level first lesson. So whatever we have studied in the grammar now we will do it practically. One more near thing that I need to tell you all that as you know, we have started a water project for the local people to provide them drinking water. Initially we thought that all our expenses are covered, but when the project started it looks like we are a little short on the funds so if anyone want to contribute in that cause they can message me and they can contribute it in it because okay. we think we are a little short of the funds initially we thought everything is covered but as the work started uh, it looks like we will be facing a little shortage on the funds okay so on that level, the first lesson has I mean this. So Mr. Jawal, read these sentences and translate them. Hada Baitun, this is a house. Hada Maskibu, this is a mall. Hada Babu, this is a door. Hada Kitabu, this is a book. Hada Alam, this is a pen. We can also call it desk. This is a desk. Then we have Mahaza. Mahaza mean what is this? Miss Noor Uljana. Yeah. Mahaza. What is this? Ahaza Baitun is Haza this is Baitun, this, this okay okay. Haza Baitun. This is home. This is house. Ahaza Baitun is this a house? Naham Haza Baitun. Yeah, it is a house. This is a house. Ma Haza. What is this? Haza Kamisun. This is a shirt. Ahaza Sarirun. Is this a chair? Is this a bed? Is this a bed? La Hada Kursiun. No, this is a chair. Ahada Miftahun. Is this is a key? La Hada Kalamun. No, this is a pen. Ma Hada. What is this? Hada Najmun. This is star. The Marino Lawan. First exercise. Ms. Sabina, read the question and answer according to the picture. Ma, ma haza, what is this? Haza miftahun, this is a key. Ma haza, what is this? 
Haza Kitabun. This is a book. Ma Haza, what is this? Haza pen, what do you call a pen? Haza Kalamun. This and this is a pen. Ma Haza, what is this? Haza Babun. This is a gate. This is a door. Ma Haza, what is this? Haza Baitun. This is a house. Ma Haza, what is this? Uh, Haza Kursiun. This is a chair. Tamreen Ustani, second exercise. Bidad. Okay, Sanikum. Malikum Sud. Ahada Baitun. La. Hada Masjidun. Ahada Miftahun. La. Hada Alamun. Ahada Kamisun Naam Hada Kamisun Ahada Najmun Naam Hada Najmun Tamrinus Salis third exercise Ikra Waktub Read and Write Miss Poonam Yes sir Ahada uh, Mak uh, hada maktab. Uh, this is a table. Hada masjid. Uh, this is a mosque. Hada kalam. This is a pen. Hada sarit. This is a bed. Mahada. What is this? Hada kursi. Uh, this is a Chair Hada Bait Ahaza Bait Ahaza Bait La Haza Mazid. No, this is a mosque. Mahada Haza Mufta. Mifta. Uh, what is this? This is a sorry, Mufta. Mufta. Who is this, Mr. Jawad? Man Haza. Who is this? Haza Khabib. He. This is a doctor. Man Haza. Who is this? Haza Walad. This is a boy. Man Haza. Who is this? Haza Khalib. This is a student. Haza Walad. Is this a boy? La Hada Rajul. No, this is a man. Miss Noodle Jana. Ma Hada. What is this? Hada Masjidun. This is a mosque. Man Hada. Who is this? Hada Tajirun. Uh, he is. Um, this hmm. is a merchant. Um, yeah, this is a merchant. Haza Kalbun. This is a dog. A uh, Haza uh, Kalbun. Is this a dog? La Haza Kitun. No. This is a cat. Haza Himarun. This is a donkey. A Haza Himarun. Is this a donkey? La Haza Hisanun. No. This is a horse. A Ma Haza. And what is this? Haza Hamalun. This is a uh, camel. Haza Jamal. Jamal, okay. Haza Jamal, this is famous. Ma Haza, what is Miss Sabina? Yes, sir. Ma Haza, what is this? Haza Dikun, this is a rooster. Man Haza, who is this? Haza Mudarris, this is a teacher. A Haza Kamisun, is this a shirt? La. Haza Mindil. No, this is a kerchief. Ikra Waktub. Ikra Waktub. Read and write. Ms. Vidal. Ma Haza. Yeah. Ma Haza. Haza Alamun. Haza Kalbun. Translation. Oh, there's no question for that. I'm sorry. Just reading and translating. Oh yeah. yeah. So um, 
ما هذا هو سيس هذا سوري وات از سيس هذا قلم this is a pen هذا كلب this is a dog من هذا هو سيس هذا طبيب this is a doctor هذا جمل this is a camel هذا كلب is this a, uh, a dog لا هذا قط no this is a cat miss punam yes sir uh, sir from uh, third six uh, haza haza dalik dalik ha haza dik a haza dik naam uh, is this uh, dik sir i don't know what is dik is this a rooster is this a rooster uh, yes haza a haza hasan a haza hasan a haza hasan is this a horse la haza jamar hamar haza hamar is this a horse no this is a uh, uh, this is a donkey don donkey ya hada hada mandil 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 sir what is mandil handkerchief uh, this is handkerchief hada huwa walid hada hada walid walid naam uh, is this a boy yes min hada man hada man hada who is this hada rajul rajul uh, this is a man rajul next we have lesson 2 second lesson so here we will learn additional words zalika which mean that and wow mean and nothing else nothing new in this chapter miss you read this yeah <clears throat> in the lesson we learn the use of zalika meaning that and wow meaning and example Hasa by tun, wasalika musti dun. This is a how and that is a must. Note number one, salika is pronounced salika, but it is written without the lip. Number two, the word wow, wow is writing for. to the following word so here we again see just like haza zalika also has hidden alif here we don't write that alif but we pronounce that alif second thing is about wow so he is telling you that if we write the wow close to the next word so it almost become a one word when we look at it but it remains a separate in meaning Miss you read this vocabulary. Chuka, chuka run, chuka. Imamun, imam. Laban, milk, ton. Hatta run, ton. Another Sunny second lesson. Zalika, dad. Mr. Jawad, Ma Zalika, what is that? Zalika Najmun, that is a star. Haza Maskidun, or Zalika Baitun, this is a mosque, and that is a house. A Zalika Kalbun, is that a cat? La Zal, is that a dog? La. 
Zalika Hitun. No, that is a cat. Hada Hisanun Vazalika Hemarun. This is a horse and that is a donkey. Ma Zalika. What is that? Zalika Sarirun. This is a bed. Hada Sukarun Vazalika Labanun. This is a sugar and that is a milk. Yeah. Ma Zalika, what is that? Zalika Hajarun, this is a stone. That is Man ha that sorry, that is a stone. Man haza wa man zalika. Man who is this and what is that? And who is that? Woman, okay, sorry. Oh, and who is that? Haza Mudarisun, this is a teacher. Vazalik, Vazalik Imamun. Vazalika Imamun, and that is a Imam. Sir, wow is used, wow is used for and. Yes. Tamrinu yeah. Lawal, first exercise, Ikra Waktu, read and write. Miss Sabina. Haza Sakkarun Vazalika Labanun. Haza Sakkarun Vazalika Labanun. Sakkarun Vazalika Laban. This is sugar and that is milk. Manzalika Manzalika. Who is that? Zalika Imamun. That is Imam. Vazalika Kit. Is that a cat? Kit. Vazalika Kit. Is that a cat? La Zalika Kalab. Uh, no, that is a dog. Ma Haza Haza Hajar. Uh, what is that? What is this? Uh, this is a stone. Al Kalimatul Jadida. New words. Read these words and tell me their meaning as well. Imamun means Imam. Hajarun, stone. Sukkarun. Uh, sugar, laban, milk. And that's a solace. Third lesson. So now, previously, can anyone tell me what is the meaning of Tanween? Indefinite. A or N is the meaning of Tanween. Okay, now we will learn the meaning of al. Al mean the. The particle al mean the. Nothing else here. Miss Vidal, read this. In this lesson, we learn the use of the Arabic definite article al, which corresponds to the English the. When the definite article al is prefixed to the no to a noun, Naturally, the indefinite article N is dropped. The Example. The is dropped or noon is dropped. Oh, the noon, yeah. Um, al bayt. I mean, sorry. Baytun would change to al bayt. So, so the tanwin would be removed. What is the meaning of tanwin? Um, a. So, and like. And not what is the meaning of al? The. Can we use tanween with al? No. Yes. So whenever we use al, we need to drop one dhamma to make it single. Okay. Okay. Now we will study about the Arabic. There are 28 letters in Arabic and these are divided into two categories. 14 are solar and 14 are lunar. So in Solar letters, the lam becomes silent. Ashamsu, an najmu. But in lunar letters, lam is pronounced. No other difference. Miss Poonam, read this. Arabic has twenty-eight letters. Of these, fourteen are called solar letters, and the other fourteen are called uh, lunar letters. In the articulation of the solar letters, the tip of 
tip or the blade of the tongue is involved as in uh, ta. ta 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 noon uh, ra uh, sa etc seen etc uh, uh, the tip or the blade of the tongue does not play any part in the articulation of the lunar letters as in ba uh, wow meme uh, ka etc when al is prefixed to a noun beginning with a solar letter the l the i the lam of al the lam of al is assimilated to the solar letter example al samshu uh, al samsu the sun is pronounced ashamsu uh, no change take takes place in writing al uh, shamsu the al assimilation is in... pronounced as ashamsu <clears throat> okay uh, ashams ashamsu <clears throat> the assimilation is indicated by the shadda on the first letter of the mo uh, noun no such assimilation takes place with the lunar letters example al kamru the moon is pronounced al kamru here are some more examples of the assimilation of the uh, lam of al to the solar letters al najmu becomes an najmu al rajulu becomes al rajulu arajulu uh, al diku becomes adiku al sam samaku becomes al uh, asamku see the table of lunar and solar letters page 13 in the arabic book so note that the letters are in arabic <coughs> sorry or 28 28 and what are the two categories of these letters uh, solar, sir, letters. solar and moon solar. letters so what is the difference between solar and lunar letters uh, sir what i understood is uh, when uh, when there is solar letters we will uh, skip uh, lam yes we lam becomes silent in pronunciation and in lunar yes, and letters when... lam is pronounced okay yes <clears throat> Miss you. Yes. <clears throat> See the table of lunar and solar letter page of thirteen in the Arabic language. Note that the ah uh, of an alif of an alif of an in pronounces of uh, only or. Uh, when it is not preceded by another word if it is preceded by a word what is it by a word it is preceded or preceded by a word it is stopped in pronunciation thought in remains in writing example and by two here the a leaf is pronounced but is if it is pro, uh, preceded by wa meaning and the a leaf is stopped and phrases is pronounced wa by two not wa and by two wal by two not wa al by two one by two, not one by two. So here he is telling you that when there is a word before alif and lam, alif becomes silent. We will pronounce wal. Normally we say al by two, but here we will say wal by two. Read this, miss you. Oh, to indicate this omission is pronunciation, this tie. Um, Hamza tul wasal. Uh, Hamza. Hamza tul wasal. 
Hamsta tun. Wasan. Wasan or oh, Hamsta tun wasan. It places above the Hamsta one by two. The the initial vowel a leaf. E a or you or u which is omitted when uh, preceded by a word is called hamsatu hamsatun wasun and this is fatta kasra dhamma a for fatta uh -huh. i for kasra and u for dhamma read the sentence and and Oh, okay, that is, enough. that is enough. So here we study that. Bacho, bye, Nikolo. Is Ugrana ni chhod do saath? Ha, chhod do. So here we study that whenever there is a word before this alif lam, it becomes silent in pronunciation. Okay. Next student. Okay. Mr. Jawad, read these sentences. Al Babu Maktu, the door is open. Al Karamu Maktu, the pen is broken. We have learned that Sanveen is the ident indefinite article and it is to be translated as a example. Baitun, a house. This does not apply to adjectives like maftu, open, and maksur, broken. So normally we use the, we translate the tanween as a, but in case of adjective, we will not use this translation, okay? In case of adjectives, we will not use this translation, okay? We will translate without a or a. Anybody, any question? Iman, Iman, who to answer? Okay. Means they will not like, say like this, Maftu. Assalamu alaikum.